Doubt. That quiet voice that becomes loud in the silence of the woods. Doubt. That's a famous quote by Fred Bear. So, <clears throat> in the silence of the woods, one of the things, one of the reasons that I hunt, why I track actually, it gets me back, for me, to the creator, whatever the creator is. I don't know what it is, but when I'm out there, something happens to me. I get grounded and it changes my life. So on an annual cycle, that's what I, that's what I go there for. And, um, and in that silence of tracking, and the cadence of tracking, you'll discover things about yourself that are wonderful. And what I realized is that a lot of times in that silence on the track, I had little doubts that niggled at me. You know, would I be able to catch that buck? What was going to happen when he jumped out of his bed? Was he going to jump out of his bed? Am I looking from right to left enough? All these little things niggle at you. Mm -hmm. And so what I had to do, if you were in the woods enough, is start to trust your intuition. Right? And when you're doubting, you're not trusting. You're not trusting that, hey, it's all going to work out. It's all going to work out. However it's supposed to work out, it's going to work out. And, and I was so worried, again, about what people think. Was I going to be successful? Was I going to get the big one? Ooh, this is a big track. I better get this one, you know? And I had to just learn to let all that go and start to enjoy myself. Um, trust in your ability to shoot the buck, running or not. That was a big thing for me. Because as a kid, I was never a good shot because I'm left-eye dominant right-hand shooter. And it was always a challenge for me. And I, actually, Timmy and me talked about this, and he helped me out quite a bit with that confidence issue. Um, and now I, I don't even worry about that. I just shoot. And ever since I stopped worrying, I kill some. <laughs> you know, when I was completely wrapped up, but am I going to be able to make the shot? I missed, ask Bob, probably 12 good big woods bucks over a 10-year span. And I just kept missing and missing. It became my own mantra of, of uh, failure. And it was, I, it got to the point where it was like, I, I can't shoot an Adirondack buck. And I talk about that in my book as well. And I'd get right outside the blue line, they call it the blue line around the Adirondack Park, and I'd kill a big buck within two days. But if I was stepped into that blue line, <laughs> there's some sort of force field that makes it so I can't get him, right? I, it was all mental. It was all mental nonsense. Um, so you got to trust in your skills no matter how new and unrefined. We all start there. You'll learn. And if you track enough bucks, you're going to start whacking them and, and having them on your way.